We know that learning begins at birth, and the preparation for learning begins even before birth. In fact, 80% of a child's brain development happens between birth and age three. The reauthorization of the Child Care Development Block Grant will lead to important reforms and improvements in the early care of our nation's children. This bipartisan legislation is a big win for working families. It helps make it possible for more than one and a half million kids to receive quality child care every month. The last time, as Senator Mikulski had said, that we reauthorized this was in 1996. At that time, child care was seen principally as a work support activity and only incidentally as something that could have a great impact on the development of our children. Today, backed by impressive scientific research, we know that this initiative can and should be much more than just a work support activity. In addition to providing critical work support for parents, it's now widely recognized as a rich early learning opportunity for children. Because much of a child's intellect and skills develop before he or she begins kindergarten, we need to give all children every opportunity to reach their full potential at this early stage. This means supporting access to high quality early learning programs, including high quality child care. That's why reauthorizing this bill with an array of reforms and improvements is so important. The bill contains many common sense improvements to a program, as I said, that hasn't been, it hasn't been changed in a generation. Things like improving health and safety requirements, asking states to increase the amount of funding they set aside to serve infants and toddlers, requiring pre-service training and ongoing professional development for child care workers, asking states to inspect their licensed child care centers at least once a year. And I'm particularly excited about the set aside to improve access to and quality of care for infants and toddlers. This is something that I have included for several years, as again, Senator McCulsey had said in my appropriations bill, and I'm pleased it's now gonna be an important component of the author authorization bill. These are the kinds of common sense, research-based activities and services that any parent would want for their child, and they deserve it. And again, we have a broad coalition of senators in support of this bill that passed our committee unanimously. It has the support of a broad array of outside groups. And again, I want to especially thank both Senator Mikulski and Senator Burr for their tremendous work over the last couple of years or more of bringing this together. Uh, it has not been easy. Uh, they've done a lot of the yeoman's work, and, and quite frankly, this is the way committees ought to work. <laughs> Subcommittees should take charge of things and, and work these things out, and that's what the two of them did while they were heading this subcommittee. And it's a way that full committees ought to work, too, because Senator Alexander has been a great partner on this bill, as he is on everything that we do in this committee. There's every reason to believe that uh, this bill will receive strong bipartisan support in the Senate, However, I take nothing for granted, but I look forward to working with my colleagues on both sides of the aisle to get this across the finish line. 